The Greenwich Time Signal GTS, popularly known as the PIPS, is a series of six short tones broadcast at one-second intervals by many BBC radio stations. The PIPS were introduced in 1924 and have been generated by the BBC since 1990 to mark the precise start of each hour. Their utility in calibration is diminishing as digital broadcasting entails time lags. Structure There are six pips short beeps in total, which occur on each of the five seconds leading up to the hour and on the hour itself. Each pip is a 1 kHz tone about halfway between musical B5 and C6 the first five of which last a tenth of a second each, while the final pip lasts half a second. The actual moment when the hour changes, the on-time marker is at the very beginning of the last pip, when a leap second occurs exactly one second before midnight UTC, it is indicated by a seventh pip. In this case the first pip occurs at 23 hours 59 minutes and 55 seconds as usual and there is a sixth short pip at 23.59, 60 the leap second followed by the long pip at 0 hours 0 minutes and 0 seconds. The possibility of an extra pip for the leap second thus justifies the final pip being longer than the others, so that it is always clear which pip is on the hour. Before leap seconds were conceived, the final pip was the same length as the others. Although negative leap seconds can also be used to make the year shorter, this has never happened in practice, although normally broadcast only on the hour by BBC Domestic Radio, BBC World Service use the signal at other times as well. The signal is generated at each quarter hour and has on occasion been broadcast in error. Up to 1972 the pips were of equal length and confusion arose as to which was the final pip, hence the last pip was of extended length. Usage The pips are available to BBC radio stations every 15 minutes but except in rare cases, they are only broadcast on the hour, usually before news bulletins or news programs. On BBC Radio 4, the pips are broadcast every hour except at 1800 and 0 hundred and at 2200 on Sundays at the start of the Westminster hour when they are replaced by the Westminster Chimes of Big Ben at the Palace of Westminster. No time signal is broadcast at 1500 on Saturdays and at 10 o'clock and 11 o'clock on Sundays. This is caused by the scheduling of the afternoon play on Saturday and the omnibus edition of The Archers on Sunday. On BBC Radio 2, the pips are used at 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 1700 and 1900 on weekdays, at 7 o'clock and 8 o'clock on Saturdays and at 8 o'clock and 9 o'clock on Sundays. The pips were used on Radio 1 during the Chris Moyles show at 6.30 just after the news, 9 o'clock as part of the tedious link feature, 10 a.m. at the end of the show and often before Newsbeat. As most stations only air the pips on the hour, the Chris Moyles show was the only show where the pips were broadcast on the half hour. Chris Moyles continues to use the pips at the beginning of his show on Radio X Zane Lowe's Masterpieces, the playing of an album in its entirety, is begun with pips, and they also feature at 1900 on Fridays to signify the start of the weekend and at 1600 on Sundays to mark the start of the official chart show. The weekend breakfast show with Dev begins with the pips at 6 o'clock, and they sometimes feature on the hour at other points during the show, and Gemma Kearney's early breakfast show begins with the pips. Dev's previous early breakfast show also featured the pips at the beginning, and on the half hour per hour at other points, particularly at 6 o'clock before or after the I'm here all week track. The pips are also used at 1900 on Saturday evenings at the start of Radio 1's 12-hour simulcast with digital station BBC Radio 1 Extra. BBC Radio 3 and BBC Radio 5 Live do not currently feature the Greenwich Time signal in their scheduled programming. The BBC World Service broadcasts the pips every hour. Pips can also be heard on many BBC local radio stations although their use is up to the discretion of individual stations. A rare quarter-hour Greenwich time signal can be heard at 5.15 weekdays on Wally Webb's programme on six BBC local radio stations in the east of England, as part of his synchronized cup of tea feature. In 1999, pip-like sounds were incorporated into the themes written by composer David Lowe to introduce BBC television news programmes. They are still used today on BBC One, BBC World News and BBC News. 
The BBC does not allow the pips to be broadcast except as a time signal. Radio plays and comedies which have fictional news programs use various methods to avoid playing the full six pips, ranging from simply fading in the pips to a version played on on the hour in which the sound was made into a small tune between the pips. The news quiz also featured a special Christmas pantomime edition where the pips went missing, and the problem was avoided there by only playing individual pips and not the whole set. The 2012 project Radio Reunited, however, did use the pips not as a time signal, but simply to commemorate 90 years of BBC Radio. <laughs> Accuracy The pips for national radio stations and some local radio stations are timed relative to UTC, from an atomic clock in the basement of Broadcasting House synchronized with the National Physical Laboratory's time from NPL and GPS. On other stations, the pips are generated locally from a GPS-synchronized clock. The BBC compensates for the time delay in both broadcasting and receiving equipment, as well as the time for the actual transmission. The pips are timed so that they are accurately received on long wave as far as 160 km 100 miles from the Droitwich AM transmitter, which is the distance to central London. As a pre-IRIG and pre-NTP time transfer and transmission system, the pips have been a great technological success. In modern times, however, time can be transferred to systems with CPUs and operating systems by using BCD or some Unix time variant. Newer digital broadcasting methods have introduced even greater problems for the accuracy of use of the PIPs. On digital platforms such as DVB, DAB, satellite and the Internet, the PIPs—although generated accurately—are not heard by the listener exactly on the hour. The encoding and decoding of the digital signal causes a delay, of usually between 2 and 8 seconds. In the case of satellite broadcasting, the travel time of the signal to and from the satellite adds about another 0.25 seconds. History The pips have been broadcast daily since 5 February 1924 and were the idea of the astronomer Royal, Sir Frank Watson Dyson, and the head of the BBC, John Reed. The pips were originally controlled by two mechanical clocks located in the Royal Greenwich Observatory that had electrical contacts attached to their pendula. Two clocks were used in case of a breakdown of one. These sent a signal each second to the BBC, which converted them to the audible oscillatory tone broadcast. The Royal Greenwich Observatory moved to Hurst Once a Castle in 1957 and the GTS equipment followed a few years later in the form of an electronic clock. Reliability was improved by renting two lines for the service between Hearst Mwansa and the BBC, with a changeover between the two at Broadcasting House if the main line became disconnected. The tone sent on the lines was inverted, the signal sent to the BBC was a steady 1 kHz tone when no pip was required, and no tone when a pip should be sounded. This let faults on the line be detected immediately by automated monitoring for loss of audio. The Greenwich time signal was the first sound heard in the handover to the London 2012 Olympics during the Beijing 2008 Olympics closing ceremony. The pips were also broadcast by the BBC television service, but this practice was discontinued by the 1960s. To celebrate the 90th birthday of the pips on the 5th of February 2014, the Today program broadcast a sequence that included a reworking of the happy birthday melody using the GTS as its bass sound. Topic. Crashing the pips The BBC discourages any other sound being broadcast at the same time as the pips, doing so is commonly known as crashing the pips. This was most often referred to on Terry Wogan's Radio 2 breakfast show, although usually only in jest since the actual event happened rarely. Different BBC radio stations approach this issue differently. Both BBC Radio 1 and Radio 2 generally take a more laid-back approach with the pips, usually playing them over the closing seconds of a currently playing song or a jingle bed background music from a jingle, followed by their respective news jingles. Many BBC local radio stations also play the pips over the station's jingle. BBC Radio 4 is stricter. 
It is an almost entirely speech-based network. Incidents at the end of the Today program regularly cause listeners complaints. As a contribution to Comic Relief's 2005 Red Nose Day, the BBC developed a Pips ringtone which can be downloaded. Bill Bailey's BBC Rave includes the BBC News theme, which incorporates a variant of the Pips, though not actually broadcast exactly on the hour. The footage can be seen on his DVD Part Troll. In the late 1980s Radio 1 featured the pips played over a station jingle during Jackie Bramble's early show and Simon Mayo's breakfast show. This was not strictly crashing the pips as they were not intended to be, or mistaken for, an accurate time signal. <laughs> Technical problems At 8 a.m. on 17 September 2008, to the surprise of John Humphreys, the day's main presenter on the Today program, and Johnny Walker, who was standing in for Terry Wogan on Radio 2, the pips went adrift by six seconds, and broadcast seven pips rather than six. This was traced to a problem with the pip generator, which was repaired by switching it off and on again. Part of Humphreys' surprise was probably because of his deliberate avoidance of crashing the pips with the help of an accurate clock in the studio. A sudden total failure in the generation of the audio pulses that constitute the pips was experienced on 31 May 2011 and silence was unexpectedly broadcast in place of the 1700 signal. The problem was traced to the power supply of the equipment which converts the signal from the atomic clocks into an audible signal. Whilst repairs were underway the BBC elected to broadcast a dignified silence in place of the pips at 1900. By 1945 the same day the power supply was repaired and the 2000 pips were broadcast as normal. Topic: <laughs> Similar time signals elsewhere. Many radio broadcasters around the world use the Greenwich time signal as a means to mark the start of the hour. The pips are used in both domestic and international commercial and public broadcasting. Many radio stations use six tones similar to those used by the BBC World Service, some shorten it to five, four, or three tones. Argentina, all news, talk stations Radio Nacional, Radio Mitre, Radio Continental, Radio 10, Cadena 3, etc. air the six pips similar to the BBC every hour, and three pips for every half hour similar to Catalonia. Also some online radios like Camucos's Radio, plays the pips, Australia, pips are used on ABC Radio National and ABC Local Radio at the top of every hour, as well as on Fairfax Media Talkback Stations 2UE, 3AW, 4BC and 6PR. In Australia, the news pips are closer to 735 Hz and each of the six pips lasts for half a second. After each pip, there is half a second of silence. Brazil, some news stations, like the national station Radio Bandeirantes, and the regional stations Radio Guaíba and Radio Gaucha broadcasts a similar time signal every 15 minutes. In Radio Bandeirantes, there is five pips signal called as fifth signal. In Radio Gaucha, is used a four pips signal every 15 minutes. Canada, the National Research Council time signal is broadcast daily on ICI Radio Canada Premier at 12 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, EDT and on CBC Radio 1 at 1300 Eastern Standard Time, EDT. It is Canada's longest-running radio feature and has been broadcast every day since 5 November 1939. China, China National Radio and all local radio stations use a similar 6-pip time signal on the hour. Five short lower pitched 0.25s 800 Hz pips are played to count down the final 5 seconds of the old hour and a longer higher pitched 0.5s 1600 Hz pip is played to mark the beginning of the new hour. Finland on YLE's radio services the pips are broadcast on the hour. France the station France Inter broadcasts four very short pips every hour which are almost invariably crashed. The last pip, which is as long as the other ones, marks the top of the hour. Some local stations of the France Blue Network also air four pips that are a little longer than Inter's. Germany, Deutschlandfunk broadcasts three beeps every hour, the last one being longer than the others. Between 5 o'clock and 1800 on weekdays they are broadcast every half hour and sometimes omitted at 2100 when there is no news program scheduled. 
The sister station, Deutschlandfunk Kultur omitted pips altogether with their rebrand in 2017. Hong Kong, a six-pip time signal is used on RTHK's radio channels. The signals, which are provided by the Hong Kong Observatory, are broadcast every half hour during the day and on the hour at night, immediately before the news headline reports. Hungary, the national radio channel Kossuth broadcasts five stereophonic pips at the top of every hour, the fifth being longer than the others. India, six pips are used by All India Radio before starting its Delhi news bulletins. Ireland, six pips are broadcast before news bulletins at 7 o'clock, 1300 and 2400 on RTE Radio 1. Israel, on Israeli Public Broadcasting Corporation Hourly Radio News, five tones part of a recording of Cole Israel's original beeps play counting down to the hour. Right as the hour starts, a jingle starts playing, the end of which includes the IPBC's sonic ident and an a cappella singing the name of the broadcaster. Khan. This jingle replaced the original six tones that played on Cole Israel's hourly newscasts, six tones, with the sixth tone being longer. As of 2017, when public broadcaster IBA got shut down and replaced by the IPBC or Khan, the intro got changed and added a jingle. Italy, the national Italian radio, Rai, uses six tones to signal exact time in all its stations. They differ in the timing, Rai Radio 1 tells the hour. Rai Radio 2 tells on the half hour at 6.30, 7.30, 8.30, 10.30, 12.30, 13.30, 17.30, 19.30, 21.30 .30, 19 30, and 23.30. Rai Radio 3 signals the 45 minute of selected hours at 6.45, 8.45, 13.45 and 18.45 all the signals come from the Istituto Metrologico di Torino, the National Study Center for Measure and Time. Also on Rai Radio 2 and Rai Radio 3 tells at 6 o'clock on start the new day. Japan, NHK Television formerly used three short pips played at 57 to 59 of the clock ident and a longer three-second pip from 00 to 03 just before the start of news programs. The longer three-second pip can however be crashed shortly after the 00 mark on certain special events or if there was time constraints. Malaysia, RTM radio stations use the pips hourly before the news broadcast but only the top of the hour pip is sounded. Until late 2012, the time signal is simply a short pip on the 59th second before the hour and a longer pip on the top of the hour. In a news report in the Star on 1 January 1982, the pips were used to sound similar to the BBC's. Netherlands, only three pips, two pips and one beep were used from 1991 to 2018. Broadcast of the pips has stopped with the last transmission at 7 o'clock on 2 October 2018. New Zealand, the equivalent of BBC Radio 4, Radio New Zealand National, plays the six pips at the top of every hour. North Korea, the pips are heard on Voice of Korea before its start-up at 1700. Poland, Polish radio tells five pips and one beep before the hour. Not broadcasting in Polski Radio Jedinka on every Sundays, the 3rd of May, Polish Constitution Day, the 15th of August, Polish Armed Forces Day, and the 11th of November, Polish Independence Day, at 9 o'clock in the morning, because broadcasting the Holy Mass. Russia, Russia's state television channel one broadcasts six tones at the end of a short melody before newscasts and Vremia, the primetime news program. Sind the Sindhi language news channel KTN News plays five pips at the start of each news hour. Spain, the signal is broadcast by almost all radio stations, even by music stations, but depends on the frequency. Music stations usually use pips on the hour, but most of the non-musical stations broadcast the signal every 30 minutes. Los Forti Principales, the most important music radio in Spain, broadcast a different version of GTS, two first pips sound and then a music is added on the background, using the rhythm to create the corporative jingle of the radio. This station in particular uses only four pips, typically the two last using two different frequencies resulting in a modern rhythm. Other musical radios like Maxima FM and M80 Radio, both owned by Prisa, and Europa FM use a similar effect. Catalonia, Spain, dance music station Flix FM and hot AC station Radio Flixback, both owned by the same media group, broadcast every half hour a very short sequence of two very short tones followed by a longer one, the whole lasting not more than one and a half seconds. 
Else 40 principles, the Catalan edition of Spanish radio Los 40 Principales, use the same jingle, using a mix of GTS and corporative music. Sri Lanka, Sri Lanka Broadcasting Corporation uses GTS pips on their radio channels to mark the start of the hour at each main newscast just after playing the news theme music. Other stations do not use pips. Switzerland, the first channel of the Swiss radio used to play three short pips, the third being higher than the others. It seems to have disappeared now. United States, the pips can be heard on the Middlebury College radio station WRMC. CBS News Radio broadcasts a single tone on the hour before the hourly news broadcast. Former Yugoslavia, JRT broadcast the six pips before the news on the hour on radio as well as on television, before the start of the TV Denevnik at 8 p.m. The broadcast on TV was stopped in 1974 because the TV Denevnik was moved to its current term at the bottom of the hour 7.30 p.m. See also Time from NPL National Research Council Time Signal, a CBC Radio 1 indicator for 1300 ET